John, through to the 24th ranking final of your career. Another match where you played some really high quality stuff and a great win over Kyron Wilson. Just how pleased are you with how you played there? Very pleased. Uh, different style match to my previous one against Ryan Day. Uh, Kyron uh, certainly was always going to be, a, you know, uh, probably a tougher test. You know, plays a slightly different style than Ryan, uh, and and uh, you know, uh, it, was, it was tough at times. Uh, there was quite a lot of gritty, you know, safety play. The last couple of frames, particularly, were protracted. Uh, but pleased to carry on my, you know, scoring of this week. My, uh, you know, good scoring and leading from the front has been good. I've not, don't think I've been behind once in the tournament. So uh, I'm obviously doing something right. I'm thrilled to have another opportunity at taking another piece of uh, silverware home. Yeah, as you say, it was more free-flowing at the start, more protracted towards the end, and he started showing a few signs of frustration. Did you feel you kind of just kind of got on top of him by that point? And kind of... I remember very famously John Higgins did exactly the same thing against me towards the end of our second round match at the Crucible in 2005, and I remember thinking, got him. And, uh, of course, any tell like that, you know, any poker player would tell you when your opponent reacts like that, you know, you've got them. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, it was a big show of emotion from Kyron that you don't see very often. Uh, but I think, you know, we're a bit prudish of that in snooker. We're a little bit behind other sports with that. Uh, I don't mind it. I think it's great to see. It shows how much he cares. Uh, and, you, you know, you wouldn't find many players who try harder than Kyron Wilson. It means so much to him. Uh, full credit to him for, for, for trying so hard. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, for him, it's another good tournament. As we say, through to another final, it's... There's been a lot that's gone on since the last time you lifted silverware at the 2020 Welsh Open. We've had a pandemic since then. <laughs> Given everything that's happened, how, how much would it mean to, to lift a, a, a title and a trophy again tomorrow? Yeah, I, I've kept saying, you know, consistently, certainly since sort of autumn, that you know I felt my game was going in the right direction. I feel like things are trending, and uh, you know I do believe that I'll win something by the end of the season. I thought it might have been last week. Uh, and it wasn't to be, you know, Robert played phenomenally well and, and, and obviously there was so much on it for him. Uh, this week, slightly different, you know, playing a proven winner in Ali Carter. Uh, it's going to be a slightly different contest, but uh, one that I'll be looking to, you know, just bring my A game to. All I'm in control of out there is my emotions. That's all I'm in control of. The better my emotions, the better decisions I'll make. And, uh, you know, hopefully I can be the last one standing. Yeah, I think Ali talks about that in terms of the fact that he's been working really hard on not being so frustrated out there and, and working on his emotions and it seems to be paying dividends. He's obviously won the German Masters and is in great form. So you, you, I suppose you're the two form players at the moment, really. How, you know, how, how much are you looking forward to that match? Yeah, very much so. I think all, all our matches together, we've had quite a number of matches over the years. They've always provided high, high, good entertainment, high standards. Uh, Ali's somebody I get on with well off the table. You know, we, we've had a lot of great times over the years and we'll walk away from snooker as friends, you know, in years to come. Uh, but, you know, on that table tomorrow, we'll be shaking hands and we'll be trying to beat each other with everything we've got. All the best. Thank you.